welcome to 151 Garage. I'm Jill. I'm Jill's cameraman. Sean. Her husband, yeah. free labor. <laughs> but uh, today we're gonna work on the Big Bend. So right now you have a lot of people that have the soft top. Now one of the complaints they have about the soft top is, open this all the way so it doesn't swing open, is what she's having trouble with right now lifting up the top and putting the prop rod down. That's a wonderful thing, right? Almost reminds you of the hood. Such a so, pain in the butt. This is what the hard top comes with. The gas struts. Why they didn't incorporate that with this one, I have no idea. That would be perfect. Now, Let's close this one back up. One of the companies, IAG Performance, yes. came up with a solution for that. Now, we bought a set and we've seen some stories about a little bit of clearance issues and we're going to go through what we find and tell you if there's solutions that we find ourselves especially when it comes to installation problems. Uh, first off, let me go ahead and jump out real quick. I'll show them what all it comes with. So obviously it comes with the two struts. It comes with the bracket, and we'll show you where everything goes. It comes with these right here. These are for the other side of the uh, strut. It comes with a bungee cord and a little turn knob. Now, it also comes with the longer bolt, and that goes with that bracket right there. The tools you need are approximately two wrenches, 12 and 13, which are for this. The TP27, Torx Plus 27, which is for the bolts up, up in the top portion just right there. In. The Allen head 530 seconds. Yes which is for the bolts right there. And then obviously your sockets, wrenches, or okay. ratchets and stuff like that. And, uh, um, and extensions, yeah. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and close this up and we're gonna go ahead and remove all the top pieces. Now you do not have to remove this, all these pieces to be able to install them. It is good though for us to show you. So I'll go ahead or she'll go ahead and uh, uninstall them. All right. Now, you do not have to do that. We're just doing this so we can film it a little bit easier and show you guys exactly what we do. So it's strictly for filming purposes, but it does make it easier to install. Okay. So before we... Before we go, yeah, it does. Before we go through the installation of the brackets right here, I will show you right now. The brackets right here that go on the top, they do go with, let me put it out here. It does go with this out, or in actually, and the bracket on the top, the little ledge goes in. And what it does is it sits kind of like that way up here so when we pull this out we'll go ahead and show you jill's getting tucked into her nice little place i'm trying to anyway yeah, at least you got shade yeah it was hot earlier when we did this now this is the uh to torch plus 27 is what the strap is right here now you do want to keep in mind the orientation of it yeah, so without knowing, the orientation that this strap is turned makes it go inside or outside. Whenever it naturally falls, it wants to pull it inside or pull it outside. So make sure you keep it in mind. It does have a twist in it. Seems, might seem kind of odd, but the last thing you want to do is straighten it out and have it go this way when it goes under these things when it actually gets caught. So you don't want to cut the straps. All right, so I put this back in 
the DeLonger bolt with the washer that it originally on here. I did not untwist it, so as you can see, the twist causes it to fall in. If you were to do it this way, it's gonna fall that way. This will end up pinching it against this and that will cause it to be cut over time. Yeah, so you, you wanna, wanna protect take that. This. So, let me see it real quick. Yeah, this is it. As you can see, there's a notch. Let me right go up there. that way, right there. So that fits in this little spot right here, as you can tell. It's all black, so hopefully it catches it, but it yeah. does fall into that notch right there. See, it goes right there. Also, when you go to install this, make sure that this hole right here is lined up with the other one. Be careful when you start threading it in, make sure that there is not a gap that starts forming right in between these two brackets. So there's a bracket here and a bracket here. When you start threading it in and it starts to uh, spread it out, it's gonna move the whole thing one way or another. Okay. You don't want that. Well, I'm starting to thread, so just keep an eye on the gap. That's The reason why we know this because we've done this a few times. Yeah, we had a problem with it before and we figured it out, so. Am I doing okay? Yeah. As far as I know, there's no gap. Oh. There it is now. <laughs> Shit. So now that we got it straight, <laughs> The bolt wasn't going all the way down because it was hitting the shank, uh, the shank on it. So it's all the way down now. She should be able to thread it in a little bit easier rather than fight the bracket. So yeah. how am I looking on gap edge? Keep going. Oh yeah, you're good. Okay. So stop right there. So right here, you can see the bolt starting to come through there. That's what you want to see. What you don't want to see is it still back there in the gap that's right here between these two uh, brackets like spreading out because all you're doing is you're pushing this bracket out and this bracket in, which is gonna create a clearance issue when that bar comes down, it's gonna hit this right here, which we've already seen a lot of people talk about. Make sure you hold it straight down. That's good. That's good. You want to over torque it. And then we'll go ahead and go to this side. And so far, I've always seen that it's the driver's side that has the issue with it rubbing right here. So what it'll do is when it comes down, it rubs right against this portion right here. Um, I don't know if they need to bend these brackets just a little bit more or what, but we're trying to come up with solutions so we don't do it. Sorry. I'm trying not to kick you in the crotch. Ooh. I'm your husband. It's natural for me to get kicked in the crotch by his wife. It's called marriage. Also, do remember or do note that there is a washer that is underneath that. So when you pull that out, do not drop the washer somewhere. Uh, That's why you see me holding it. Like Yeah, she holds the washer and then puts the bolt back through it. So be aware there is a washer on that. And next we will do, which one you want to do that side or that side? You're already on that side, the bottom pieces. Now the one thing on these, uh, so the way it shows you for them doing it, it shows you to do it with the washer on the inside. Now that right there might not seem like a big deal, but what's gonna happen is it's gonna push that uh, strut out this way or in this way, which again, gets closer to this. My suggestion, and we will be doing this, is put it on the outside because sometimes a little bit goes a long way when it comes to clearance. So it'll be like, like moi. Yeah, we'll put it in and we'll show them. Well, we gotta raise the thingy yet. Oh yeah, we do, don't we? 
And this is why I need the struts. I got it. You got it. Wow, independent. Look at that. <laughs> Mr. Miss Big Shot YouTuber. Yeah, so see, we put the washer on the outside rather than the inside. Get a little bit of extra clearance right there. Okay, go to the other side. And again, this is the farthest hole back. It's the only one that fits through, so you, obviously you're not going to fit it through the small hole right there. Okay. So like I said, it gives you a little bit, but not much. But sometimes that little bit will help you farther out here. So, And now, the struts go on. Careful, that one has the top. That yeah, loose. the struts go on this way. So the larger end towards the bottom, the smaller end or the shaft part towards the top. So I'm Now, gonna let... when you get these unpackaged, you leave them with the straps on it. Yes. Because these are compressed. Yeah, they they do come apart. Uh, in fact, one of ours came <laughs> apart when we uh, were installing it last time or uninstalling it. Which is why you see, yeah, that's why you see that it. Right Go ahead there. and put it on before it comes undone. <laughs> you can compress it. It's not hard. It's just kind of a pain in the butt to get everything set up. Okay, oh. I need you to lift. There you go. Okay, now grab the other one. Okay, you want to thread it through this way. Install it, just a light tap. And push this up to be able to get it in there. Get it on there. Ow. There you go. There you go. Now, all we got to do is pull it down just a little bit. And there you go. Straps come off. Get that one out. Maybe. Here we go. Got those. All right. No more Throw straps. Those back there. Now, the last things we got to do is install the little knobs. So you see the little knobs. Let me see one. There's just little knobs. Uh, how can I put it? There you go. Little knobs. And they go on the farthest. They go right there. Threaded <laughs> bolt forward. So the farthest one forward. And now for the bungees. Yeah, the bungees. So you want it to look like that. So the large end up and towards the back of the vehicle, the bungee side actually connects on the knob, wraps around the knob. Yep. Hang on, I gotta get out. Limbo? Okay. There you go. You want it right, right there. Okay. So otherwise it's gonna pop off. No, where it's gonna go. Is right there. So yeah. it's on that little spacer portion. There you go. So you wanna do the honors? Maybe. I can't bang set down. There you go. So that right there kind of gives you a little bit of an idea about how tall it is. Hang on a second. Let's uh Oh yeah, we're gonna do the Jill measurement. The Jill measurement. So if you guys want to know what the Jill measurement is, let's drop this up or lift this up. Go over to here first. Alright, so the Jill measurement is how tall it is to me. And I'm five foot ten. So it's right about five foot ten. It's almost an even Jill. This right here 
is just a little bit taller than Jill. So it's a Jill plus a couple inches. <laughs> so, and we'll go ahead and show you the, hang on a second. And we'll take note of the space, hang on. So obviously you have a little bit here, a little bit of space here. There's a little bit more on this side, but I just think it's just, that's the way it is. Go ahead and pull it down. Okay, again, you have a little bit of a space here, plenty of room, plenty of room here. Now I'm gonna do this portion. I'm gonna let Jill film it. He's gonna lay the roof all the way back. Now, as you do this, especially if you do it by yourself, it's not a friend to help you. The roof will twist either this way or this way when it goes down or when it goes back up. So just be mindful of the twisting. Okay, you gotta go around. Now you, you will have to, because of the struts, go over here and show them. And a regular Bronco, it doesn't have the struts pushing up. These drop down fairly easy. What you do want to do is make sure both sides are down. When you look, you'll see the lever right here. It's not all the way in. Just push it down on this side. There you go. Now you're all the way down. There, maybe. You're all the way down. Am I? I'm not. Hmm. Okay, so one of the things we had to deal with is while this is usually held down by gravity and a couple clips, it doesn't have the shocks to push it back up again, which of course when you do this, maybe, you're gonna have to push the other side. I might have to adjust that a little bit more. Pull it down. There you go. Now I'll come over here. I'll show them. So we're gonna have to do some adjustment. While gravity holds it down regular with the shocks, it wants to do this number and push it up, which includes both sides. There is a latch on the inside portion. And if you look down through this way, it's this right here. That right there holds onto these pieces right here. Now these pieces are adjustable. So what you can do is you can loosen these two up and adjust it to where it fits and it works perfectly. Um, obviously we need to adjust that one a little bit more. So you're talking these two bolts right here. Yeah, they're 27. Uh, okay. TP27, so Torx Plus 27. Uh, those are the ones you gotta loosen up and kind of adjust, and we're gonna do that off camera. But if you do have a problem with the top not coming down or staying down or not latching, you will have to adjust these a little bit. But I did run a, a uh, paper, paper towel, towel through right here, folded it up a couple times. There was no friction. I, I had, a little bit of clearance is kind of hard to see when it goes down. So come here. I don't know. You can even get it on camera. Yeah, right here, right here. So you can see the space right there. Can you see it? Here. Watch out. Hang on. So right there, you see the gap between this and this. It's pretty decent all the way down. Uh, yeah, all the way down. And now going on this side, we have the same thing. We have plenty of clearance all the way down. Now when we latch it, 
it will still have plenty of clearance on it. I, I suspect you're going to have to push down from the sides bed. Right there. Okay. Now, like I said, we we're having problems before. It was probably already like that. But we never knew because, again, gravity. Now that you have the anti-gravity bars, we will... Uh, that yeah. we don't really drive with our tops down in Florida because, you know, random rainstorms. Rainstorms. Now, I'll go ahead and show you how easy it is to put back up. I think we're going to have to loosen the other side because we're going to need to adjust that anyways. We'll adjust that later. So, yeah, he's a pro at doing this, taking these windows out and dropping the top and putting them back on. Since this is, you know... This is his own vehicle. This is Diesel's vehicle. It's not oh, mine. Sorry. He stole that from me. I stand corrected. This is my dog's car. Yeah. Mine's still waiting a chip. <laughs> Whatever. But not too bad. Can make easy for getting a the dog in and out. Yeah. Diesel will love it. Want to go close the back door and I'll go get him? Yeah. Let's go see how Diesel likes it. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Come, Come on. Hey. Come on, bud. Come on. Come on. Oh, He's like, uh-uh. I want to get in the other Bronco. Hey. Boy. Come on. Get up there. Oh, good boy. Okay. Is it diesel approved? Yes. Okay. Hey. Here's our baby seal pit bull. Oh, he likes it. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> since we're all in here, yeah. let's all kind of relax. Okay, I hope you guys find this helpful, especially with some of the issues we've come across, especially while installing these. Now, it latching isn't their fault. It's the fact that it wasn't adjusted correctly from factory. Again, that's not something that they would have known. That's something you can do now. Now that we figured out how to do it, we will adjust it at a later date. So it's very simple to adjust. It does take two people right now, but we're gonna fix that shortly. Um, so again, thank you for you know joining us, me, Jill, and Diesel. Mm. Diesel. And uh, you know, please like, subscribe, <laughs> hit the notification bell, and drop a comment down below. Yep. If you have the uh, stretch for the soft top, we want to know if you ran into any problems. You know Why? that what, you, you mic may yourself? have not you know encountered yet. Yeah. All right. Anyways, you know, like I said. Please uh, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Hope to see you next video. Bye. Bye. What do you say? <laughs> Bye. <laughs>